This is episode 301 of the Beyond the Food Show Q&A version. And today we're going to answer a question about time. And that's going to allow me to teach you about the intersection between how we feel about our body, how we think about food, and how we engage with time. These three part of your life are all bundled up together. You're going to want to listen to this podcast because it is a game changer to get you out of time scarcity. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Going Beyond the Food show. I'm Stephanie Dozier, clinical nutritionist and creator of the Going Beyond the Food method. And after a 25 year dieting career that started at the age of 12, I decided to say hell no to diet culture and undiet my life. It is now my mission to help women undiet their life. If you're new to our podcast, be sure to grab our free podcast roadmap at stephaniedoze.com forward slash roadmap. Ready, sisters? Let's do this. Hello, sisters. Welcome back. I have something to share with you all that happened to me three days ago. We are working on a series inside of Undiet Your Life with the coaching team. And we just recorded the first part of this series. And it's titled, This the Season to Smash Down Diet Culture. It's so freaking good. We had so many laughter. And we've been picking at the way we've been socialized to engage with the holiday period about restraining ourselves, restricting ourselves, showing up a certain way. And to all of this, we say, hell no. And we are coaching our student on how to be a human going through the holiday. And it's so good that I've decided to share it with you. So... We've been switching, well, basically, I've been switching the schedule of the podcast because I'm the master of the schedule of the podcast. And next week, I'm going to share with you this the season to Smash Down Diet Culture Part 1. That was originally just for our student, but it's too good to not share with you. So stay tuned for that. This podcast episode, this the season, will be podcast 301 on your feed. So if you're listening at a different time frame, just the next episode. Now, if you're one of the amazing women who has joined us inside of Undiet Your Life recently with our promotion, Undiet 2022, spend a whole year with us. By the way, this promotion goes on till November the 30th. So we give you a whole year with us inside of Undiet Your Life plus two months on us. So you can get started right away. And you're with us until the end of December. And this is plenty of time. I would like every student to dedicate a year of being with us. But for some people, that's not possible. Totally get it. But ultimately, a year is what it takes to completely rewire your brain when it comes to food and body image and your mindset. So if you've joined us or you're about to join us, know that the complete series of the holiday, this the season to Smash Down Diet Culture will be available on your private podcast feed. Now, today is a great episode for all of you who are standing on the sideline right now, imagine you're at a soccer match or a football match, and you're sitting on the sideline and the rest of us on the middle of the field, like smashing down diet culture, undieting our life, and you're sitting on the sideline because you think you don't have the time, this episode is perfect for you. And just... So, you know, know that there is millions of you sitting on the sideline. You are not alone. Because when it comes to time, what I'm going to teach you today is where most people are in. And trust me, I get it. Because for me, I spent most of my 20s and most of my 30s being completely overwhelmed by the lack of time consistently worrying that I was not going to get everything done. And because I had 
anxiety about not getting everything done, I would fall into pattern of procrastination because I was paralyzed by how much I had to get done and the thought that there was just not enough time. And my coping mechanism to these feeling of anxiety created the numbing, sitting in front of the TV all night long, all weekend long, eating as a way of relieving the anxiety that I had about not being productive enough, not having enough time, being too busy. And then when I would procrastinate and be paralyzed, the next day, or most typically on Monday morning, I would have millions of thoughts in my head running as to how, quote, bad I was and how unproductive I had been that weekend or that evening that would create a shitload of guilt and shame. And the only way I could relieve myself from the guilt and the shame of having been paralyzed and procrastinated was to do these grand plan. That's a concept that we teach in On Diet Your Life, where we use planning, we buy a new agenda, we get this electronic calendar and this app, and then we plan our life to the minute so every single minute of our life can be productive in hope of increasing my productivity so that I could do more. And I would fantasize about these grand plan. And when I would finally be able to act that way, and that I would be finally <laughs> productive enough. And trust me, that loop kept going, as I said, most of my 20s and my 30s. And then in my late 30s, almost, the, I think it was the second to the last year in the corporate world, I went to a corporate retreat and they brought a speaker in and they made us read a book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stefan R. Covey. Now, I no longer agree with most of everything in that book, but one of the things that I learned from this book is that there is different way to conceptualize time. And what I realized is that the way that I had conceptualized time up to that moment was the problem, not the lack of time. The way that I was thinking, engaging, believing in time was leading me to think that there was never enough time creating the anxiety leading to procrastination, feeling of being paralyzed and resulting and actually creating the reality that I was lacking time. But the problem wasn't that I was not having enough time, but instead that I carried the belief that time was scarce. This whole concept of time scarcity. Listen up. <laughs> I've coached enough women that are coming from a background of chronic dieting and restricting and hating their body to know what's happening in some of you's mind right now. So if your brain is screaming right now, <laughs> literally screaming and having thoughts like, quote, she doesn't get it. Come and live my life for just a minute. That's BS. There is not enough time. If this is you, if you're having these thoughts or a parallel thought to this, you really need to listen <laughs> to this podcast because these thoughts in your head right now are the thoughts created by diet brain. These thoughts that want to validate the fact that there's not enough time are coming from the exact same place in your brain that criticize your body, that criticize your food choices. That part of your brain is your fight or flight part of your brain, AKA diet brain. That part of your brain is designed and fully committed to keep you exactly where you are right now. And where you are right now is that you live in a concept of time scarcity. So these thoughts 
judging me, telling me that I'm crazy for telling you this, are the thoughts that if you believe in them and you entertain them, will keep you in a space of time scarcity. Here's the thing. Where you are right now is time scarce, but you are also likely in a space where you are body scarce, food scarce, and yeah, time scarce. Your body is not good enough. Your food choices are not controlled enough. You don't have enough time. You are not productive enough. You're not perfect enough. You're not nice enough. You are fill the blank, not enough. And I'm going to advance myself to say it's probably a similar perspective you have with money because it all comes bundled together. We have these lenses, these glasses that we put on every morning that says that it's not enough. So everything we touch, money, time, body, food, it's never enough. And just be honest with yourself while your brain is screaming that Stephanie's crazy. Be honest with yourself. Is that how you engage with life? Our brain, as women in dire culture and patriarchal society, has been trained to see the world as not enough. So we work harder and give out more and pour out more into the system. Because we believe that time is scarce, we approach our schedule with the thought time is scarce. And we obviously experience that there's just not enough time. And it's the same pattern of thinking with body and food. It's all the same. This is why in our program on Diet Your Life, we call it on diet your life. It's not just about food. It's not about body. It's about time. And it's about all the other components of your life. Because to think that the problem is only with food is, in my eyes, ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Because that tells me you truly, if that's what you're saying, and that's what you're promoting into the world, you truly don't understand diet culture. And I want to talk to you about the little cousin of that culture that creates the belief that time is scarce. So I'm just going to make sure everyone is aligned here. If you're new here, let me define diet culture for everyone. Diet culture is a system of beliefs in our society that value thinness and health and assign it superiority and moral value, moral virtue, and lead us to engage with our body as not good enough. And therefore, the tool we're being offered is to control food. That's diet culture. And the cousin of diet culture, right? Patriarchy had a lot of grandchildren. (laughs) Diet culture being one and hustle culture being the other one. And hustle culture is a system of belief that placed value on being busy and productive. Being busy at all time is what is ultimately respectable. So if you're complaining about not having enough time, that means that you are worthy. That's how hustle culture works. Being busy in hustle culture has become a badge of honor. So take inventory in your current social circle when you meet people and you say, hey, how you doing? Notice what people answer. When you start paying attention, you will notice how often people respond to the how are you with, I'm just so busy. But here's where hustle culture get really sneaky. The belief system of hustle culture also says that Being busy is an excuse and something that happens to you, making you feel like a victim and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. It's just a fact. It trains you, it socializes you to believe that there's nothing you can do to change the way time happens in your life, which is other bullshit. It's the exact same thing as diet culture. Do you see the parallel here? Diet culture tells you that you must be dieting because you must be thinner. And 
For most of us, we spent decades believing that we had no choice in the matter until somebody like me came along and said, hey, by the way, you know you have a choice, right? You don't have to chase thinness. You don't have to diet. Somebody that is counterculture like me brought awareness to you that that was possible, that you had a choice. You have a choice to engage with time differently. Also, just like food, just like body. We have a choice. We have a choice to think, believe in time differently. We can live a deliberate life with time. A life where you decide what happens at any given time. And the shift you must do in order to live this deliberate life with time is this one. You have to shift from I have to, to I choose to. This is what living a deliberate life, a life of things that matter to you, a life that is fun, a life that is pleasurable, a life where you feel accomplished is grounded into. So let me ask you this question and ask yourself that question. Are you choosing to be too busy? Are you choosing to not take time for yourself? I know for me, back when I read that book I mentioned earlier, and I asked myself these questions, it was an obvious, no, I don't choose. Right away, my brain offered me the thought, no, 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 you don't choose, you have to. And that's when I realized that I thought time is happening to me. I don't engage with time with power. So if you feel like, no, you don't choose to be busy and no, you don't take time for yourself, then you don't live a deliberate life with time. And I would ask you to look beyond time. Do you live a deliberate life with food? Do you live a deliberate life with your body? So if you take that time of reflection, you say, no, I don't, but I want to. I want to live a deliberate life with time. Well, Here's what you have to do. Every time your brain is offering you the thought, quote, I'm just too busy. I have no time. All these thoughts parallel to that. You need to stop. And you need to instead look at the circumstance, make the decision from a place of power. Instead of saying, I have to, You need to say, you need to rephrase the sentence or the decision as, I'm choosing to take time to do this. I am prioritizing this instead of that. How will you feel when you look at your decision process, your engagement with time from that perspective? And I want you to notice what you are prioritizing and what you are not prioritizing, what you're saying no to, and what you're saying yes to. Are these yes and no from a place of fear or from a place of love? Are you saying yes to things because you are afraid of being judged, criticized, rejected? So next time you're about to say, I'm just too busy, decide that you will be intentional with your time. Take back control of your time. Get yourself out of time scarcity because you can. You have, my sister, the power to do that. Watch your inner narrative. All the shoulds, the have to, the musts. Challenge them. And every time, shift from I have to do I choose to? And do the exercise. I'm telling you, game changer. When you do that in your mind and you force yourself to engage with the activity on your calendar, 
the yes and the no's from a place of I choose to, it's like a magic wand in your brain when you start unpacking the beliefs that lead you to say yes and no. So I'm going to end this podcast with what I believe to be one of the most important advice (laughs) or tips or steps when it comes to time. And I, I'm going to teach it to you in the context of time, but be aware that that can be applied to anything you're trying to change in your life. Okay. Stop trying and spend time being. Every time you're about to say, I'm going to try, this is wishful thinking. If you haven't yet listened to that podcast, 299. And to wishful thinking, you need to say hell no to this and call BS on your brain. Don't try, do. You have to be in the belief that it's possible for you to change this aspect of your life. And that no matter what happens, you'll have your own back. That's podcast 298. And from that place, from that belief, commit and go for it. I'll be teaching a class inside of our retreat in January. We're hosting a two-day virtual retreat inside of Undiet Your Life, where we're calling BS on this whole new year, new you bullshit of diet culture. And one of that class within the virtual retreat is get back your time And I'm going to be teaching my six P's system. The six P's, planning, prevent, piss poor performance, is actually something that I created in the corporate world. Coming out of that retreat I was sharing earlier about, reading the book and listening to the conference, I came up with this getting our time back in the company that I was working for at the time, and I created the six P's. So the six P's is what I'm going to be teaching in that January virtual retreats. So if you need help with time, you may want to consider joining Undiet Your Life and come to our two-day retreat in January to kick off 2022 in the right way to Undiet Your Life and then spend the next 11 months inside of our group coaching program and then do the work and be supported through this journey. With that being said, I love you, my sister, and I'll see you on the next podcast. Beyond ready to shed diet culture from your life and become the expert at your own body? Awesome. Then you need to join on Diet Your Life program Go to stephaniedodzie.com forward slash join and join us now. Undiet Your Life is the first program of its kind with the unique combination of mindset, life coaching with intuitive eating and body image. Find your freedom, reclaim your power and take control of your time so you can refocus on what really matter to you. Join Undiet Your Life at stephaniedoze.com forward slash join and I'll see you on the other side.